Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. In this video, we are going to go through how to export patterns, songs, render audio, stems, and also we are going to show you how you can use multi-output in Groove Rider GR16. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, as that will help me a lot with growing the channel and also to bring more videos, tutorials, etc. So let's start. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is actually, um, let's select um, a couple like three Patterns. And the reason that I want to select three patterns is because I want to show you how to render and export the song using the chain functionality, etc. So let's try this one, A94. That sounds good. And um, 95, I don't like it that much. I'm going to use 96, which is a variation, and also 97. Okay, perfect. So first thing first, let's go to 90, A94, this Melbourne Shuffle one. So let's click on this button, which has these uh, uh, spanners on. And let's go to export. Now here you can share the pattern. So you click on it and it will say that it will export the current pattern, including the samples used as a GR16 files. And then of course you can, uh, um, if you click OK, it will show you the usual iOS uh, a screen where you can save to files, copy, send an email, etc., etc. You can export all patterns and songs. If you do so, it will um, um, export all the patterns and songs, which um, might take a bit of time depending on what you have available. Okay. Then you can also render the pattern audio. So let's click on it and you can change the name and let's click OK. It will render the audio. It will ask you to share it. Again, it will show you the usual iOS menu uh, where you can email, copy, save to file, etc. It can export it to audio share. It can load the samples, which has been generated through the rendering of the audio of the pattern to part 13. So you can use that further or you can save it in the export folder. Now let's export it to audio share. Okay. There it is. Okay, it is seven seconds long, roughly. So let's delete the, uh, oops, wrong one. Let's delete that now because we don't need it. Let's go back to Groove Rider. And um, next you can render the pattern stems. So all the individuals parts separately. It will group group them all in a zip file and it will show you the user screen where you can further take it from there. Next, you have two options to render the chain audio or also the chain stems. Those are only active if under general, you have selected chain mode to on. So if you, do, if you see them grayed out, you need to go to general and enable chain mode. What is chain mode is the ability to chain one pattern to another so that then you can render the pattern which is selected and anything that is linked from that pattern onwards. Okay. So, and I'll come back to this. Um, you can render the quality. So you can change the quality of the rendering there. And you can also export the Ableton Live set. Okay. So in order to show you the chain functionality, which is different from the uh, song functionality, let's, let's click shift and right. Let's save these as new. So we have a new pattern. Let's go back to um, 96, yeah. Click shift and right, save a new, as new. And then let's go to 97, shift right, save as new. Okay, so we have a free user pattern, U02, U01 and U00. Now, if I want to create a chain, it's very simple. Let's go to the menu on the first pattern that I want to create a chain to. Let's create select pattern. Let's scroll down where it says chain to. And that is where you can select chain it to the next pattern, like so. And you can decide on many time to repeat uh, the, ch um, the chain as well. Let's click right. Okay, exit. Let's go to the next pattern menu, chain to 
to the third pattern like so. Right. Exit. Now remember, um, if you are on U01 and um, you render the chain audio, it will render U01 and U02. It will not render U00. Okay. Um, there also, if you go to U02, it will render only that pattern because there's nothing after as a chain. So if you want to render the entire chain, you need to go to the very beginning, U00, and render the chain audio like so. Let's try. Takes a little bit longer because there are three patterns. Let's export it to audio share. Like so, and let's click play. And as you can see, it is 21 seconds now. So you can see it's uh, the equivalent of three patterns. Okay, let's delete that or move it to the trash folder. Okay, let's exit here. So we have now three um, user patterns. They are chained together. That's one way to render audio and you can in a chain. Another way is to go to song mode, then create a new song, go to edit, add, and add the free pattern like so. Oops. Add again the second one and add the third one. Okay, in this way, we have uh, now a song with free patterns. And if we go back to the menu, you can share the song now, not only uh, anymore the pattern, you can render the song audio, the song stems, and you can still change the quality. So let's try to render the song audio. Let's export it to audio share. Done. And you can see it's still 21 seconds. Of course, pros and cons in terms of uh, if you choose to render the audio of a chained set of patterns, or if you create a song. So, well, of course, if you create a song, you have additional functionality because you can, uh, for example, create song automation, which uh, is really nice between different patterns. So that is uh, is really, really good. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, yeah. let me um, yeah. bring up the menus like so. Let's close Audio Share and Groove Rider, and let's go to AUM. Okay, I'm going to show you now the multi output. So let's click on the plus and create an audio channel. And let's search for uh, GR16. And let's choose the multi output AU. Okay, it is loaded. Now let's create another audio channel. Let's click on the plus on the input node. Let's go to multi bus audio unit instances and let's select again GR16. You can see it is using the second bus, the second output. If we assume that the first channel is for kick drum, then we have a snare. Let's duplicate these for a hi hat and then uh, let's duplicate that again for uh, a bass. Okay, so let's go to the first instance now. It will load up. And um, let's go to a pattern which is empty, like this one. Let's click play. So we have that drum kick. And if I click play, it will come out from the first channel. Okay, makes sense. Let's go back to it. Let's go to trigger activate snare. Let's go to sequencer and activate step um, 5 and 13. And let's click play. Let's close this window, click pay. As you can see, the output of the snare is still on the first audio channel. The reason is that you need to go to mixer, identify where the snare sound is coming from in terms of what channel. And at the top it says master, click on it. It will say two now. So it means it will go out the through the second output. Really nice. Okay, and um, let's continue like so. So let's go back to um, GR16. Let's select the uh, hi-hat. Okay, let's activate that on step one, nine, 
phi and 13, like so. Let's go to the Maxa and let's select uh, that to go out. Click again to output number three. Okay, you can see down here that it is on channel number three. Okay, let's create another one. Let's uh, exit the mixer. Let's go to the trigger. Let's select the first uh, part oscillator. Let's change that to sine plus FM. Let's give some FM like so. A little bit, uh, why not? All those pass filter, four pole soft click. Uh, something like so, a little bit of resonance. Uh, uh, removal the sustain. Uh, give a bit of attack, a lot of decay, a bit of release. Uh, act that on the environment dial for the filter and uh, let's try it. Oh, okay, that's nice. Now let's click on Arpeggio. Again, let's select um, pattern, um, don't know, um, 23. Let's select the mode to random. Let's select uh, two octave, like so. Let's click the scale, scale again and again and again. Let's choose uh, Aeolian, like so. And then let's activate both and try. Really nice. Let's record that. Okay, now let's go to Mixer. Let's find the first oscillator, number one there. Let's click to master two, three, and four to redirect the output to output number four, which will be here. So let's try it. Okay, so we have uh, all the output redirected now to different channels. And now because you, you are in AUM, you can, you can add effects. So let's try a little bit. Let's search, for example, for a reverb for this snare. Oops. And uh, let's choose Bliss Reverb. I, re I recommend Bliss Reverbs. They are uh, Bliss effects in general. They're really, really nice. Let's uh, add uh, here a delay to the hi-hat. Uh, again, Bliss Delay, the default one sounds really good. Then on the bass, why not? Let's add a chorus. Bliss Chorus, fantastic. Let's leave the rainbow uh, preset as default. That's fine. Double click here. Select another uh, effect. Let's choose Phaser from Bliss again. Let's go inside, change the preset to the metal box, which I really like. So let's try. <laughs> So as you can see, you can have a lot of fun uh, with uh, Groove Rider GR16. So in summary, we have seen how to export patterns, songs, how to render pattern, song, and chain patterns as audio, stems. Uh, you know how to change the render quality now. You can, you know how to chain patterns and um, I showed you also how to use the multi-output functionality inside AUM. I hope you enjoyed and see you at the next video. Bye.